Welcome to this week's Legal Scope by Clifford Gilson Lawyers. This week we're joined by Harrison Humphreys who practices in the litigation and dispute resolution area of the firm and Harrison is also uh, head of our litigation section. Um, now Harrison, I'm sure you're aware litigation and dispute resolution is an often misunderstood area of law. People tend to have preconceived myths and views from watching um, perhaps too many uh, TV shows about um, litigious lawyers. Um, so we might try and clear up a few of those myths today. Can I get you to start maybe with talking about what types of disputes um, Clifford Gilson deals with and what we don't deal with? Yeah, no, it's a good question. Um, shows like uh, Boston Legal uh, probably paint a, a fairly inaccurate picture of, of what dispute resolution and, and litigation is all about. Uh, as our firm here at Clifford Gilson um, focuses on legal services for business, uh, we tend to concentrate on commercial litigation, uh, which means that um, uh, it doesn't involve, and we don't practice in areas like personal injury or, or family law. Um, if we can start with dispute resolution, uh, I think uh, it'd be handy to start with a, 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 some sort of meaning or definition of, of a dispute. Uh, essentially, that's a disagreement between, um, you know, two different parties uh, that can't be resolved without uh, external help, for example, from a lawyer. Um, so essentially as part of our dispute resolution, uh, we, uh, we attempt to resolve disputes between uh, people. Um, some of the types of disputes that we, we look after are um, disputes between directors, shareholders, uh, partnerships, uh, landlords and tenants, Solvency disputes, uh, for example, one, one party goes broke, uh, and um, and it might go into liquidation or bankruptcy. Uh, insurance, franchisor and franchisee uh, disputes between parties involved in a deceased estate. Uh, negligence by one party, uh, but not personal injury or, or workers' compensation. Um, contractual disputes, disputes between suppliers of of goods and services and, and consumers. Uh, defamation uh, is another main one and, uh, and disputes involving property, both, both land and uh, personal property like you know, cars or, or things like that. Okay, so that's a pretty, pretty good mix. Essentially we could say anything that a, a business might need um, you know, where they find themselves in a dispute with another business or an individual um, Clifford Goldson could cover or essentially where some people may be attempting to recover property or, or something like that um, uh, or where they feel they're owed or entitled to something. Um, I guess to help help explain a bit more, can we get you to talk about in a little detail what, what we really mean by litigation, so um, what that term means to, to a lawyer and how, um, how it might affect uh, someone going through the process? Litigation is is probably a, a reasonably well misunderstood term uh, uh, in the sense that not many people, not many lay people know what it means. Uh, litigation is essentially a tribunal or a court proceeding, uh, so where one party uh, is suing another. Um, generally they're, they're claiming uh, money uh, from the other party and the other party is defending that by saying that no, they don't owe or have to pay that money to the person making the claim. Um, we only do civil litigation at, at Clifford Goulson, which means we don't handle uh, criminal or, or traffic matters. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, if, if you've committed an offence and the police are, are after you, uh, that's, that's a job for another firm. Um, look, it's, it's, it's where uh, the parties have been unable to uh, resolve their dispute via dispute resolution uh, with or without a lawyer and, uh, and they're asking an independent uh, objective decision maker uh, to find in favour of, of one or the other party and, and I suppose the, the main benefit of that is that decision, particularly by, if it's by a court, um, you know, by a judge or a magistrate, uh, then that decision is both binding and enforceable.
Okay. So really what we're saying is uh, there's almost two elements to the, to the process. There's the dispute resolution part, which is what the firm really focuses on trying to resolve the issue for the client without having to proceed to court. Um, so essentially, if a client comes in to see us with a dispute, they won't immediately find themselves in litigation here, will they? No, no. I think uh, given our firm-wide uh, practical-based approach to uh, all of the work that we, we do here, whether it be uh, commercial property, uh, tax structures and planning, uh, employment or workplace law, we like to be commercial and practical in our advice to our clients as to what we recommend they do and how they handle their dispute. Uh, in the litigation and dispute resolution section, what that means in practice is uh, we, we always always encourage uh, our clients to, to send a letter of demand uh, to the, the party with whom they're in dispute uh, to see what response the other side uh, will make to a, a, a letter on, on our letterhead which will show that party that our client is very serious about the matter uh, and, uh, and is about to go to court if the other party doesn't do something about it. Um, that gives the, the, our client uh, the, the opportunity to settle the matter uh, before it goes to court and thereby avoid the time and cost uh, that is, is almost always involved in a court proceeding. Um, another option is, is an, an off the record or what we call a without prejudice telephone conversation with uh, either the, the other party's lawyers uh, or the other party if they're not represented legally uh, and, and see if we can't come to some sort of resolution uh, that way. Uh, and a third option I suppose is, is, a, is a face to face meeting with or without the lawyers, uh, but um, definitely between the parties. Just get them in a room and, and let them talk it out. And uh, I think that gives the matter the best chance of, of uh, settling. And, and, and at the very least, gives the parties a chance to negotiate uh, a settlement agreement and work out what exact issues are in dispute and, and what issues are actually uh, irrelevant or, or they actually agree on. Uh, by narrowing down the issues in dispute, uh, you, you give yourselves the best chance of avoiding a court proceeding, which is not necessarily a measure of last resort because a court proceeding uh, is there for a reason. Um, uh, but uh, we would always recommend or suggest that um, parties uh, enter into a, a fairly robust uh, and, and strong dispute resolution before bringing a court claim. All right, that sounds good. Um, thank you, Harrison, for your time today. I think the, the key message there is for the our firm, at least, um, in our litigation and dispute resolution section, the, the emphasis is very much on the resolution rather than the litigation. Um, just a reminder to our viewers that you can join us here on Periscope every Friday at 9.45 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can also find our library of legal scope presentations on the Clifford Goulson Lawyers uh, YouTube channel. So if you just jump onto YouTube and search for Clifford Goulson Lawyers, you'll find us there. Uh, and finally, if you follow us on, on Twitter or Periscope, you'll get a little notice each week before these sessions start. So to help you remember to join in, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Any questions at any, any time, whether you're watching this live or on replay, feel free to email those through to us. We'll be happy to cover them in a future legal scope. Uh, but as for this week, that's all, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, Harrison. Bye-bye.